All right, so if you've watched any of my recent full self driving videos, you know that I've been in love with 12.6 and highway driving. So this version we're on right now is 12.6.1. We are currently driving down the shore. We're going to be driving to uh, Stone Harbor, New Jersey, and I need to make a stop on the Atlantic City Expressway to charge my car. Now, that was a pretty nice, pretty nice move right there around those cars to get into this lane so that we can hop on the highway. So this video is going to be all highway driving. Like right now, we're going to jump on this interchange, loop around, and then be on the highway for the next, I mean, for me, 41 minutes, although I don't think that this video is going to last the entire time that we're driving down the shore. I'll probably cut it a little bit short because it will get monotonous where you're just driving in a straight line. Um, so right now we're jumping on to 295 South. We're taking just like a typical jug handle, taking a typical um, loop around onto the highway. This should be fairly easy, although I do know that it can get a little bit dicey as people are trying to get over to take this other exit. So they're trying to exit to get off onto 73 while we are trying to merge on. And it looks like we've got a nice clear path, so this should be able to merge on nice and smooth. That was nice and clean. We do have our speed set to 85 max, and we are on hurry. So the car is just going to leave on that turn signal and get us all the way over. Now, in my previous drive on 95 I was actually really upset with how fast the car was able to merge onto the highway but this is moving at a nice pace so this sped us up right up to 78 miles an hour we are of course going to leave a little bit of a distance in between us and the car in front of us so we're pretty much going to be pinned at whatever speed the car in front of us wants to go now I do have it set to 85 just to kind of keep us right on the tail of whoever is in front of us. But notice how far of a distance the car is keeping in between us and obviously that car up there. I would say that we're probably 10 or 20 car lengths away. I wish it would leave a little bit less room. I've mentioned this in some of my previous videos. I wish that that follow distance was less. You jump into the autopilot settings here. I'm probably going to get beeped at. There really isn't all that much of a way to tell it how many car lengths we want to stay away from the car in front of us like it would on autopilot or older versions of full self driving we just got the option of hurry which of course means that we want the car to drive a little bit faster and make some lane changes so for now what i see us doing is just sitting here in this lane uh driving for the next eight miles until we have to get off on 242 we do have a car sitting just behind us right now, and we're not necessarily reaching that maximum speed of 85 miles an hour. It's leaving us at 78. Uh, I have noticed that because of the snow on the ground, it has kind of popped up saying that we do have uh, some foul weather or some... Um, some uh, poor weather that would degrade full self-driving, although there's nothing on the road that really should impede us. I've got this guy literally right on my ass right now wanting to pass, and hey, the car is getting over. Nice. <laughs> you know what? If if I wasn't, if I if the car wasn't going to get over, I was going to make the move of hitting the turret signal so the car could get out of the way for this truck that wanted to pass by, and I wonder now what it's going to do. Are we going to sit in this lane until we have to pass? Are we going to make a move into the left lane? So it seems like the car is now registering when there's another vehicle behind you almost riding your ass wanting to get around you so it'll get over for that car and then continue to drive on from there now i am going to hit the accelerator a little bit here so i'm going to try and see if we can get the car up to 85 miles an hour and it will continue to stay at that faster speed oh well there is a uh, there is a cop there so <laughs> He is not pulling out, which is nice. I mean, as long as you're relatively doing the same speed as everybody around you, they're not going to come get you. Yeah, he's still sitting back there, so we're all good. Of course, right, the one time that I go to hit the accelerator is when we're passing by an officer sitting in the middle of the road. <laughs> Of course. So we've got about five more miles left. This is just super easy driving for full self driving at this point. Just pretty much keeping us inside of the lanes. This is a drive where personally I probably would have preferred to use autopilot just because of how much one lane driving we're doing. Autopilot to me is really great to use when you're on the highway because you don't have the car beeping at you every 10 seconds if you're looking down at the screen. As long as you're staying attentive, as long as you just take a quick 10 seconds to switch your song or something like that, it's not going to beep at you. Full self driving is just so strict. It always beeps at you no matter what. Uh, so now that we have a little bit more room to play with here and the cars in front of us are driving faster, let's try to push this speed up to 85. 
and see if it'll pin it at 85 because that is the speed that I want to do here. So go ahead, 83, 84, 85. The car is now going and jumping over, which is good. We're at 85. We're at the max that I've set, and now let's see how long it stays there. It's already starting to back off. I notice now, too, when the car is merging, it gives us this different view. Like, it gives us this top-down view. Look. <laughs> I can't even look at the screen for three seconds without it saying, please pay attention to the road. That is so strict and it's so annoying. All right, so it is, it's completely lowered our speed from 85 down to 70, which we obviously don't have that much more room to play with now. So I can understand why the car is going to drop down in speed, but the change in speed is something that I find definitely is going to be uh, needing some work in the future. I always mentioned, or I had mentioned in previous videos, that the merging is something that I think needed work, but I think the merging, where it is right now, is near perfect. Like, I think the merging is so good to the point where it feels human-like, it makes good decisions, it'll go and, I don't want to say cut people off, but it'll make moves where, you know, it's a little bit more risky than it would be in the past, so it seems to have a little bit more confidence, which I like, uh, and now here we are picking up a little bit of speed. We do have somebody that is, again, right on our tail. So I wonder if once we pass this car here, if it's going to make the move to get over into the right-hand lane. If it does, that is going to be all but confirmation that it has more awareness, and it's not. I'm not going to take over, or I'm not going to intervene at all here, but... Yeah, that car is actually starting to back off a little bit behind us. The speed is just something that I think needs work. I, I mean, I think that that's just, at the end of the day, one of the things that, you know, Tesla is going to have to consider moving forward here because we're doing 75. We've got a car that was behind us now getting into the right lane to try and pass us because we aren't doing the speed limit and because the car, or not the speed limit, but because we aren't going fast and because the car didn't make the move to get out of the way. Now, the interchange we have coming up here is pretty interesting. It's going to take us off to the right. We're going to kind of loop around and then merge onto 42, make a left, uh, make a left hand merge and then continue on from there. And from what I've seen now, I'm, I'm going to hit the, uh, the turn signal here because as you can see, there's nobody there. And we have got somebody, if you look at the camera directly behind us trying to make a move here. So I'm going to take the, the, uh, good route here to get over and pay attention to the road. So this interchange up here should be slight work for the car. I'm hoping to see once we merge on that it merges over again and continues to make us uh, drive a little bit faster than with previous drives. I know that the merging is something that I've always run into issues with, but merging now seems to be doing so good. Now, the speed overall has really dropped. We're only doing 69 uh, even though I've got my speed set up to 85 max. So I wonder, well, hold on. So there is a speed offset here. FSD can can drive around or above the speed limit. Okay, gotcha. And there go the automatic wipers. <laughs> so automatic wipers, speed, two things that need to be heavily looked at. I mean, really, doing 69 miles an hour, look at all the cars around us passing us. You got cars to the right passing us, cars to the left passing us. I wish that my car was in that left lane driving the same speed as those vehicles are even though we have to exit here in 0.8 miles. What do you guys think about the speed? Uh, you know, I, I don't I don't get too many comments here, but, you know, if anybody's watching and has had any issues with speed, I'd love to know what your thoughts are if you want to leave a comment because I can't be the only one thinking that the car just drives so slow. I wonder if, like, I gave my car a really good wash, cleaned off all of the cameras, if it would give it more confidence to drive faster, I don't know. I think that maybe I'm going to use that as an excuse for the car for now. Now, with this uh, exit here, we can stay in this middle lane and continue off. In fact, I would prefer to stay in this middle lane because as we go around the interchange, we are going to have to make kind of like a left-hand exit off of the small area that we're in. It kind of splits off into two. On the right, you can jump on to 55, I believe, and on the left, you jump off to 42. So, um, you know, in this case, I'd rather be in this lane. So I'm happy that it's staying right here. This turn coming up around here. It's funny. Uh, these are some of the roads that I started first using full self-driving when I got my car. And I remember this interchange being one of the first ones that I tried when using full self-driving. I don't remember like, you know, hovering around the wheel just in case something were to happen. But now you, there's just like so much faith in the car that... I'm not too worried about it. I know that it's going to make this turn and be totally fine. I think that now it's just a matter of 
how fast is it going to do it and how smooth and comfortable is it going to do it because comfort is one thing that was a little bit tough with full self-driving because the car was a little bit herky-jerky but in terms of what we have now with this current version definitely much better so as we loop around here we will be making the left hand merge off of this interchange the car is doing a really good job around this curve at keeping us in between the lines i know as a human driver when i'm making a turn just like the guy in front of me i can tend to kind of dip off to the side go over the lines a little bit so this is really nice this is keeping us right in the middle of the lines as we go around the interchange and this one right here this uh, exit is the one that we need to take so we're driving fairly slow here and we're going to have to exit and get up to speed to try and get onto the highway little bit of a tough break there it wasn't just using the regenerative braking it actually you could tell went down and started using the full-on uh, brake down below the foot brake in order to stop us there it just is kind of one of those interchanges where everybody wants to drive slow and that means that merging is just always so difficult all right here we go we're in the left lane it should be throwing its turn signal on there we are it's reading my mind turn signal should bring us over into this lane nice smooth merge whenever it had one of those merges where it like immediately would change lane sometimes it was so quick to jump over definitely tough on the brakes there but that's because these people in front of me i don't think know how to merge we've got a ton of open room here if the car would just jump over nice you can keep going you can keep going go ahead you got all the room in the world nice good merge there now this left lane will end up here in about a mile and a half so staying in this lane is probably a good idea unless you're following somebody that's insanely slow but hey i've got to say that through those two interchanges pretty well done so i'm going to wrap the video up here uh there's no need to sit here and show you guys how the car stays in between the lines for the next 28 minutes the next 30 miles unfortunately it feels like i'm gonna have to deal with a fairly slow car for the rest of the drive if i choose to use full self-driving because the car doesn't want to seem to drive any faster so i think for my next drive i'm going to try and get the car washed i'm going to clean off all the cameras and then from there we'll see how it performs with full self-driving anyway thank you guys for watching this quick video highway driving definitely is being closer to being perfected with full self-driving as this drive here has almost been flawless anyway again thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video